Well, you can't see the ball here, which is kind of worrying. I mean, he's going to need to, to really go at this to get it out. If you can't see the top of the ball, this is risky. Oh, dear. Done. Well, he's strong, and he gave that a healthy thump. He was almost knee deep in the penalty area to the right hand side, Moronk. He splashed it out here, which was a tremendous shot to get there. And that is the three of your golfing life. Well, he hasn't won yet, and right now he's thinking he's invincible. I'll tell you what, if he does win, he'll get a cheer. It probably won't be as loud as that on the 18th. That was sensational. He's been very lucky, Rory McIlroy. Finds himself in the fescue, but he's in between two clumps of it. This is doable. He needs luck, but very doable. This is going so high. This is just a great shot. Oh. Simply stunning from that for Rory McElroy. Square face to get the distance. He would like to have opened it up, but that is so well done. A bit of risk in this, he's got to get up pretty high. Wind plays a little bit of ball for him. Rather him than me. Boy, oh boy, he hits it hard, doesn't he, at times? Up and over. He wasn't not taking it on, was he? Oh. Oof. That's amazing. That's an outstanding shot there from Holly Long. Long for birdie. After that amazing second shot. No, no, he couldn't. No, he couldn't. Yes, he can. That's unbelievable. What a birdie that is. Well, from early long. That's incredible, isn't it? Because he's going to walk away there thinking, yep, that's the way to play it. Yes. What an absolute cracker. <laughs> and it could have been five or six all day long. Little tree in front, not going to bother him. Managed to run it through the trees. He's been quite fortunate. Well, he looks like he tried to stop that jumper or flyer, as Anthony describes, by going high. Oh, and he did. That's really clever play. He did look like he could get grass between the club face and the ball and lose control of it, so he hoisted it into the heavens, and that's his best shot of the day. Uh-oh, uh-oh, flying over the crowd somewhere. Uh, this is how you can all of a sudden out of the blue run up a very big number. A new Tim are now on the first hole, aren't you? Which one's I am parallel? indeed. Yeah, he's in the an area of what you'd call almost fairway length grass. It's beautiful light. He's got just gentle semi rough on the left of the first hole. Yeah. You need to cut it a little bit round those trees, Tim. A little bit, yeah. But he's got a. If he can control the trajectory, he can go in a straight line. But you'd suggest he'd probably cut it to try and get it under the first one and over the second one. This could be the part of the century. Could be, <laughs> very much could be. Good yardage from the caddy. I think he's going at this. I think he's going to take it on. Oh, he hasn't played safe all week, has he? That's correct, <laughs> Jamie, and that's why he's 27 under. It's just a lie, right? Yeah, it's only him that knows what this right lie is like and what it's going to do. Oh, 
it sounded good. It's been, ah, oh, it's magnificent. Absolutely gorgeous control of flight and spin from an awkward lie. And he looks like he might do the Harry Houdini and make a par. Four feet. In she goes. Par of the week. I mean, that, that takes a lot. You've got to be very calm, cool and collected to do that. Took the drop from under the tree. Pitch shot was really clever. Third shot of 10, rather. Pretty good contact. How about that shot from Corey Connors? Just off of nothing. Well, Ewan Ferguson, third shot out of the dry ditch. Burn. Still can't get used to the ground in the club <laughs> in the penalty areas. I was thinking exactly the same thing. I'm thinking, what's he doing? And then you think, oh, yeah, no, they've changed the rule and you're allowed to do it now. <laughs> well, he's opted for that five wood. Grass going weird. Don't see any mud on the ball. 215 yards to go, a little bit of breeze off the left-hand side. Oh, could pin this one over on that right. Coming like flat and hot. Oh, this could be dreamy. How do you fancy your chances for Jorge Campillo out here? <laughs> what a shot. Spanish flair, isn't he? Oh, Morgie, what a shot that is. Oh, that was a beauty. What a start. Wow. And this is one, just take your medicine, put it on the back left portion of the green. Don't bring the flag in play, otherwise you're bringing that bunker in play. Last thing you want is a fried egg in the last hole of the day. I'd be so scared of a flyer with that stuff behind the ball. That is... Wow. This could be a golf club record for the stones, but you've got to do what you've got to do. Sure, where that's gone or how it's come out. That'll do. Yeah, for that's me, fine. Isn't it? <laughs> wow. I mean, you know, you hit it left off that tee, Tony. You know that. You, you're thinking, oh, good it night. Could be reloaded. Mm. You want to get out of there, don't you? It's four. You played that nice. Fair enough. Yeah. But I didn't think it was that good. It was always a birdie from where he put that tee shot. Well, you said it. He said he got away with all the trouble. He quite literally did. Brilliant stuff. Not too bad a life for Rory, considering the direction he was. He can float this one up nicely to the right landers and let it feed out. Oh, he didn't catch hold of that. This could still work out nicely, though. Watch this. His chances from there. Well, here we go, hold on to your hats. You don't want to get a little loft on this. Yeah, all right, Scott. Sure. Well done. Yeah. Good effort, wasn't it? Wasn't it a great effort? Okay. Watch out. Could be the par of the day. You've had the birdie of the day early on. There's your par of the day. That was exceptional. Really well done. Deserves a smile. It's a funny one, he's actually looking straight at me. I'd be amazed if he gets this back on the fairway. Even the green. Could be a sharp snapping here. Seems like a great strike. We've got no idea where it went, Anthony, I can tell you. He's got no clue. That's oh, incredible. My goodness me. That could be just the shot of the day already. Oh, it is. It is. It can't be beaten. Now he's looking at his shaft as well, just to make sure it's not bent. He hit his window. Oh, a little unlucky. Come on, ball, get back. Yes! 
This is the shot of the day. Keegan Bradley at 18. Adam Scott is one up, and he just escaped from nowhere. He's taking a little bit left of this flag, which is oh, it's one of those pins. Nice pin to go at. It's really close to that bunker on the right. That is an absolutely stunning shot from the lie he had. Good angle. Again, stay away from it. I think being in the sand it will certainly help him make his decision. Even missing this left is okay. It's drifting. If he can punch this anywhere on the green, it's a good shot. Oh, that's a magnificent goal shot. That really is. Now that will settle him down. That's his best shot of the day. Longask out to the right at 18. Yep, yep. Going under. Going around. <laughs> Going to get himself a very nice chance at 30 from a very unlikely spot. Well, this is horrible for Laura Tharbel. Ball's in a hole in his depression. He's 60 yards away from where the flag is. He's got a wall to cover. And it looks like he wants to take the shot on. I think he should play backwards or sideways because if he gets this wrong, he could be down in this hollow all day. Oh, my goodness. That is just phenomenal. That is the shot of the tournament. Let me tell you, everybody's applauding it, even Nienaba. <laughs> oh, I've seen those clank into the flag and disappear down the hole. Like flat and hot. Oh, this could be dreamy. How do you fancy your chances for Jorge Campillo out here? <laughs> what a shot. Spanish flair, isn't he? Oh. Morgie, what a shot that is. Yes, that's true. Yeah, well, I just got no no backswing whatsoever. But I don't actually believe she can go left or right, so I think she's just taking a chance if she does hit sand on it. I think she was always gonna duff it. I mean, how about this? This is one of the greats. Imagination at its best. Yeah, that's all she had. Trying to run it through the bunker. Got a foot of backswing and just jabbed down on it. Unfortunately, it ran through the bunker. That's all she had. Good shot. Clear access to the back of the ball as well. Oh, this is sterling. What a shot. <laughs> now I know why he now I know why he hit the driver. He doesn't mind having those tricky shots behind trees and bushes. There you go, high praise as well. Sung JM is hitting his third shot here at this part five. It's one down to Patrick Cantley. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.